Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of WordPress Management TV. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to set up a quick and easy WordPress install using Flywheel Hosting. To get started, you'll want to head over to the Flywheel website. You can use the link in the description below, and that is an affiliate link, so if you use it, we will earn a commission, but we greatly appreciate your support. Once you land on the Flywheel site, you can either create a new site using this link or click the sign up button here. This will take you to an easy sign up form that you can use to create a new account and Flywheel. After you've created a new account, you can set up the details of your new website. I'm going to create a site called WordPress Management Training and I'll want to include a username and password for the WordPress installation. You also include a temporary domain. When you scroll down, you can select Pay Now, add it to a bulk plan, or my client will pay later. I'm going to choose my client will pay later. This will allow me to put, to create a demo website without having to pay. You'll notice that I have one demo site remaining on my account so I can go down here and click launch a demo site. After doing this, WordPress or I'm sorry, Flywheel will start installing WordPress on the server. This usually takes a few minutes. So during that time, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up down below. If you have any questions about WordPress, leave those in the comments. We'll be happy to answer those. We may even make a video about your question. Again, we really appreciate you watching this, and in just a few seconds, it'll conclude the installation process, and you'll go to a special site uh, page on your WordPress or, or your Flywheel dashboard. Um, from here, you can launch your WordPress login screen. You can point domain names to your website. Um, it is important to note that your website is password protected until you pay for your hosting. At that time, you can turn off the password protection. Thanks for watching.